Hi, I'm Diana Clark. I'm an interior decorator in San Diego, California. My specialty is helping people rearrange what they already own and love to turn their homes into happier, more joyful places. Many times when I walk through a client's home, I'll begin to notice that clearly they're a collector. And this resonates with me because I am most certainly a collector myself. But what I'll see is that they're missing a decorating opportunity because they aren't displaying their collections in an artful way. So in this video today, I would like to share with you nine ways that you might display your collections to turn them into something that's a beautiful focal point in your home and that you can enjoy and love every day. No doubt one of the easiest ways to display certain types of collections is to just stuff the items into a wonderful little bowl or vase. This picture is of my own feather collection collected all over the world, but I have done this for clients with vintage fountain pens and interesting crochet hooks and hat pins. Let your imagination roam free and I'm sure you can come up with some fun ideas of your own. Incidentally, two hints here. If you don't have the bowl that you like, I recommend going to Goodwill or Salvation Army or somewhere like that and seeing what you can score for like 99 cents. Also, if you're having trouble making your items stick into the bowl the way you want them to, I would suggest getting some florist foam and punching little holes into it, and that will solve your problem rather nicely. This next idea is certainly a bit more ambitious. This is based on a rain chain. For this client who collected rocks from all over the world, I came up with this idea as a way to display them, and he happened to have metalworking as a hobby. So he put this together, and every time he travels, he adds another rock to the bottom of the chain. Well, since I had this made, I have helped other clients do the same to display their seashells and their champagne corks and even their marbles. So this is a very fun thing to do. Magnetic strips are another wonderful way to display a collection of items as long as they'll stick to magnets. Sometimes just gathering precious collectibles and putting them on a tray makes them seem so much more interesting and compelling than if they were scattered all over the house. Here's another example of displaying collectibles on a tray. In this case, the tray is very rustic and the Limoges boxes are far from rustic. And I think that the juxtaposition of these two disparate styles makes for a very fascinating display for a collection. Well, floating shelves, do I even need to say more? I have a confession to make. I am so in love with cubes. They come in so many sizes and they're available in quite a few colors or if you can't find it in a color you like, you can always spray paint the cubes. It's just such a quick, easy way to make a collection stand out. The last idea that I'd like to share with you isn't as inexpensive as all the other ones but it's certainly well worth it if you'd like to display your treasures and shed light on them. The way that I created these was simply to bang on the wall until I found hollow spots between the studs, and then the contractor could go in and cut the alcoves. Who says your collections can only be displayed in certain rooms? This wonderful collection is displayed in a soaking tub in a guest bathroom. I say, let your imagination run wild and have some fun. I hope these ideas that I've given you today will inspire you to do something fun with your own collections. And I also hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear what you think in the comments section below as well. And please, whatever you do, stay safe and healthy because I love you.